Hello, and welcome to Jazz Encounters Online. My name is Nicole Yarling. In these challenging times, we need to keep our spirits up. And what better way to do it than with music? August 14th is actually the anniversary of the Jazz Encounters series. When I approached station manager and longtime friend of jazz and mine, Maggie Pelea, with the idea, she found a way to make it happen with the support from organizations like the Knight Foundation, the Children's Trust Fund, and your contributions. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Jazz Encounters. Even though we're not together in the WDNA Jazz Gallery, we're going to bring you a wonderful program tonight featuring three outstanding pianists. So we hope that you'll enjoy the program tonight and that you'll help us to continue bringing you these Jazz Encounters on a monthly basis. Visit WDNA.org and lend your support for this wonderful program. We want to thank everybody that's involved in this, Alex Audridge, Sara Cruz, and most of all, Nicole Yarling. So thank you very much, and remember to tune in to WDNA.org or 88.9 FM, wherever you are. Our new challenge is to keep the series going through the pandemic. I've reached out for help, and I want to thank those people that believe in our vision. Miss Carol Ann Taylor, Mr. Mike Harvey, M Mike Cohen of the Musicians Discount Center, Miss Angela Rivero of the Fish House, Miss Brenda Rivers of Cary Concessions, the Sunshine Jazz Organization, and Jen, Jazz Education Network. These are individuals and organizations that share a common interest and goal to keep jazz music alive and well against all odds. I'm entirely transparent about these things. I take no money, zero dollars from my efforts. My rewards come in the way of making sure the series continues and that the performers receive some compensation, especially in a time where there's little or no opportunity to make a living playing live music. We ask for donations during the performance. The money raised will go in part to the musicians, will help to pay for the production costs, and will help to keep the series going. I believe it's a sound investment, and I'm sure you'll agree. The format will be slightly different. We will offer two or three shorter, more intimate performances each month. We want to keep you engaged, and we want to offer a variety of talented performers from South Florida and beyond. That said, let me introduce our first three performers for the series. Martin Bejarano, Tal Cohen, and Jim Gazier. I've asked these three gentlemen to kick off the series for a few reasons. They are all incredible musicians, as you soon will hear. They are all educators and mentors something very, very dear to my heart. I enjoy playing with all of them. They're all, like I said, they're great players. And they're all wonderful human beings. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Jazz Encounters Online presents Martin Bejarano, Tal Cohen, and Jim Gazier. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Martin Bejarano, and I'm thrilled to be a part of this virtual concert series. I'd like to give a big thanks and shout out to my dear friend and amazing singer and musician, Nicole Yarling, for uh, having me uh, a part of it. Um, she asked me to talk a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a musician. I've been a musician, uh, working musician since I was 15 years old and uh, never done anything else. Um, so I feel very lucky and fortunate um, to have had uh, a career in music. Um, here in Miami, currently I uh, head the jazz piano studio at the University of Miami. And uh, I'm from Miami actually also, so this is my hometown. Um, and I was away from Miami for many years living in New York City uh, where I had so many wonderful experiences playing, performing, touring, and recording with some of my musical heroes and many just incredible musicians. And I'm really thankful for that time also, but I'm also glad to be back in my hometown and to be here teaching at the university where I get to uh, interact with such wonderful and talented students. The first piece I played is by one of my favorite pianists and composers, Thelonious Monk, and it's entitled Reflections. Uh, the next piece I'll play is by the great Sonny Rollins, another standard entitled Ergen. Um, I chose two standards to play because I kind of think that standards really uh, are a unique way of seeing into how a pianist or how any musician improvises or thinks about improvisation um, because they're playing on a, on a song or a tune that's been played probably hundreds of thousands of times for 60, 70, 80, 90 years. So I thought um, for this uh, concert series, I thought it would be fun to just play some familiar music and to give you my uh, personal little spin on it. So I really hope you enjoy it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the other two fantastic pianists that you'll be hearing or have heard already, uh, the great Tal Cohen and the wonderful Jim Gazer. Uh, thanks again, happy to be here, and I can't wait to play for everyone in person soon.
Hello everyone, over in Miami. Um, first of all, a huge thank you to Nicole for putting this together and uh, Maggie and uh, the Jazz Encounters team. It's a great initiative um, and I'm really happy to be sharing it, this little concert with Martin Bejarano and Jim Gejo, who are totally amazing. So this is a really, really cool thing. I decided to take this video outside because it's such a beautiful day today. Um, it's winter here, so it's pretty cold, but today is miraculously such a beautiful day. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the Australian bush here. I'm just outside my mom's house. This is uh, the native bush here. If you're hearing anything in the background, it's probably uh, birds um, or um, maybe some other animals. Um, so yeah. I recorded this uh, video that you're going to hear in um, WOPA, which is an academy uh, for performing arts here in Perth. And I studied there for many years, four or five years, and kind of started my career really as a jazz musician. And um, it was really kind of cool to go back there and uh, record something. I managed to find a, a piano there and, and record it. Uh, did the best of my ability to to record the best of my ability with everything that I had in hand. I didn't have everything that I have in Miami. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I've been writing these little etudes, uh, which I um, composed for myself to get better. They're like little exercises that I really enjoy playing and I get better by doing them. Kind of like an exercise I write for myself. Um, and this is the second one called hookworm etude and uh, it's the second one I've written uh, and it kind of took a life of its own it's kind of a piece it's not really an etude anymore um, it started like that but it, it now it become becomes something I really enjoy playing so I hope you enjoyed the hookworm etude all the way from pair of Western Australia <laughs>
Hey everyone, back again here uh, from Perth, from Australia, uh, out here in the bush. And um, the next piece I'm going to play for you is another tune of mine entitled Cedar Meets the Jews. And uh, it's a tribute to Cedar Walton, one of my favorite piano players ever. He's not as famous as some of the other guys, um, but he's just a really, really great piano player who's written just some of the most amazing tunes, so melodic, but they also always, well not always, but often have like a consistent section, like a vamp, and then they move on to a melody. And I think he's one of the guys that achieved that kind of balance between two sections um, really, really well. I don't think there's anyone that does better than him in terms of writing a piece. So I try to do the same, come up with something consistent and then like a melody. And... Um, but every time I try and write a melody, it comes out sounding way more Jewish. So, um, this is my tribute to Cedar Walton, entitled Cedar Meets the Jews. I hope you enjoy this one. Good evening, everyone. How's everyone doing out there? First of all, special thanks to Nicole Yarling and everyone at WDNA for their enthusiasm and creative support for this and so many other things. Uh, I'll be presenting two pieces for you uh, this evening. The first is an old standard composed by George Bassman uh, with lyrics by Ned Washington. Uh, I was first introduced to this piece through uh, my participation in my high school jazz band. 
uh, Sparta High School, Sparta, New Jersey. Uh, it's really an iconic, uh, an arrangement, original performance uh, by the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra. And when I hear that arrangement to this day, it reminds me of, uh, of playing uh, jazz and playing in jazz band in high school. Uh, you, by now you may have guessed uh, this, uh, the name of this piece is I'm Getting Sentimental Over You. It's been performed by many jazz musicians, uh, Jerry Mulligan, um, uh, Charles Mingus, uh, the bass player, playing it on piano, uh, Thelonious Monk, um, singers Frank Sinatra and Ella, and more recently by Julian Lodge and Brian Lynch. And the second piece I'd like to play is, is an old hymn uh, entitled, His Eye is on the Sparrow. I've always had an affinity for, ever since I can remember, just an affinity for music of the African-American church culture. And this music has played such a vital role, an absolutely essential role in all uh, of the music that was created uh, in the United States in the 20th century, all of jazz and all of American popular music owes um, its incredible legacy to, uh, to, to this music. Um, and today I still so much just enjoy listening to pianists uh, like Quinnell Gaskin and, and Mervyn Warren and, and Corey Henry. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, and to the pianists Martin Bejarano and Tal Cohen, each a little younger than me to varying degrees, uh, I have so much respect for you and I'm sure everyone has really enjoyed uh, your performances uh, this evening. So thanks uh, for listening, and uh, I know it's not exactly like live music, but we're playing this music, and this is music that's just recently recorded, so we really appreciate your, your listening ear, uh, ear. So thanks so much. Mm -hmm.